Don't ask what this is. I don't know. Um, we're gonna before we actually get to the show. Um, I'll explain because this is kind of like this isn't the start of the actual universe mode. This is kind of like continuing it. Which, by the way, I need to make a few changes to some of these attires. Now I need to make a uh, attire for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, but I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, I'll do that later. Not right now. Which one's the good one? Uh, we'll go with the first one. Oh, I'm gonna give Hawkins a uh, an attire. Just obviously not now. So, sorry. So obviously, power rankings: Ziggler's first, Cena's second, uh, Cena's WWE champion, him and Ziggler and Cena are in a feud. Ryder and Hawkins won the tag team titles from the Colognes. Um, Matt Hardy won back the Intercontinental Championship after Rey Mysterio beat him last week. Or no, after Rey Mysterio beat him at the pay-per-view Crown Jewel. And Matt Hardy beat him last week in a rematch. Um, the Phoenix is the women's champion. A couple small things. Uh, news, yeah, Matt Hardy won. Uh, coming off a hot, coming off a thriller tag team match. Alberto, yeah, he suffered a minor injury. I say yeah, he's injured right now. Actually, he should be. Uh, what's the attire that he has? Make sure he has the right one. It'll all y'all y'all find out why in the future. All right, cool. So we have that's the show. So I guess before we start, this will be a week stream. So instead of just doing a Raw episode and a SmackDown episode, we're going to do a weekly thing. So the stream is going to have a week of Raw and SmackDown. 
and then we'll do those weekly and then we'll do the actual pay-per-view streams um, but here we go first match on the card Brie Bella versus Paige So this is happening because at Crown Jewel, well, any backstory, Paige uh, fought Beth Phoenix, the women's champion. Paige beat the women's champion. Then on SmackDown, um, Nikki Bella faced off against Beth Phoenix, and Nikki Bella also beat the women's champion. Um, so then the following week on SmackDown, uh, Nikki Bella fought against Paige, in which I do believe Paige won that. I don't remember. Um, I think Paige won that. And then uh, coming into Crown Jewel, which was the last recent pay per view, it was a triple threat steel cage match for the Women's Championship. Paige, Nikki Bella, Beth Phoenix, in which Beth Phoenix was able to retain after taking out Nikki Bella. So now Paige is saying it's Nikki Bella's fault that she lost the match. Brie Bella got angry, Nikki Bella's sister. So now we are having Brie Bella versus Paige. Paige. Mm. I'm going to do theme songs. Everyone got mad at me that I didn't use it for the custom universe mode. I'm just not a big fan of it because it takes me forever to get them up. Especially when you got fucking ads. Use Spotify. Well, Brie Bella making her way down to the ring here. Defending her own sister, Nikki Bella, after Nikki lost in that triple threat steel cage match at Crown Jewel. Getting the pinfall off Bella and Beth Phoenix retained. Paige got mad. And now Brie Bella is trying to stick up for her sister here tonight. Pay facing off against Paige herself. Uh, we will go ahead and see um, Paige making her way down. Maybe if she was able to get that one-on-one -on -one match against Beth Phoenix, she might have been able to win the WWE Women's Championship. But also, maybe not at the same time. I, I'm not sure exactly. But we've seen Paige beat Beth Phoenix one-on-one -on -one before. But maybe if Paige can get past Brie Bella tonight, maybe Paige could face Beth Phoenix for the Women's Championship at Extreme Rules. Paige looks pissed. Paige is living here tonight. She is all fired up coming into this very first match. Week 1 this Universe Mode. Well, not exactly Week 1, but you get the drift. Uh, anyways. 
But here we go. Matchup underway. Here we go. Connor will tie up now. Each with Baby Bella in the ropes. Oh, nice clean break there. Oh, look at this now. Paige taking control of the left arm of Bree. Oh, Bree now with the left arm. Oh! Big takedown. Oh. Bree now with a drop kick right to the back. Uh oh. Keeping the fight here. Now with Paige. Oh, oh, Paige with a huge shot to the midsection there. Paige trying to go after the arm. The left arm of Bree. Oh, a nasty kick. Look at both women go back and both forth here as they continue. Uh, definitely something else here. Oh. Both women continue to go back and forth here. And tr oh, Brie Bella dropping Paige off the top rope. Cover, kick out of Paige. Really trying to cinch it in here. Trying to lock in this chin lock here. Trying to wear Paige down. Look at this. Oh, what a knee there. Good lord. Lock it in the single leg Boston Crab. Single leg Boston Crab is locked in. Oh no. Catching her off here. Oh. Go for the cover, kick out by Paige. Uh oh. Three going for the cover. No. Paige stays alive. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh my 
goodness. Uh oh, wait a minute, look at this. There it is. The page turner. The page turner. This could be all she wrote here. Are we gonna see it? Page now. Rampage. There it is. Page with a cover on Bree. Shoulders down. No! No! Bree kicks out of two. Bree able to stay alive in this match. You gotta be kidding me. How? Paige is absolutely livid, trying to just unload, do whatever she can to take out Bree. Look at this one more time with the Paige Turner into the cub. Wait a minute. What? Wait, Nikki. Nikki Bella distracting the referee. What? Why? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Bree fired up. Oh! What a knee. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Oh, come on. Come on. Ah. Apparently, Ric Flair's theme song is not in fucking Spotify. He's continuing to slow the match down. Really? Oh my goodness. Damn. Still not enough. Paige again locked in that single eye Boston Crab once more. Will that be enough to put Bree away? And I'll break tap! Paige wins. Tapping out Bree Bella to the single eye Boston Crab. This could be a, this a big win here for Paige. As she could possibly continue her way towards the Women's Championship. Facing Beth Phoenix for the Women's Championship at Extreme Rules. We'll see if she's still capable of doing such things. Well, let's go ahead and get on to the next segment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have heard a lot from Ric Flair. 
We know Ric Flair. Very first episode of Raw in this universe mode. He took on a surprising opponent of Sin Cara. And Ric Flair pretty much had Sin Cara's number that whole match until the referee got in the way and Sin Cara capitalized with a crate uh with a cradle from the behind, able to pin Ric Flair. Ric Flair, ever since then, he's been down Mr. McMahon's throat saying he was absolutely humiliated. And then Ric Flair fought Mr. McMahon a couple of weeks ago. The week before Crown Jewel, he beat Mr. McMahon. Then last week, Ric Flair teamed up with Dolph Ziggler to face off against John Cena and Jeff Hardy. And Ric Flair proved to the world that he still has what it takes, tapping out the WWE champion John Cena to the figure four leg lock. Ric Flair's out here, obviously upset. You see, I'm not a man that goes out seeking conflict. And I don't poke the bears because I know it gets me nowhere. I am in fact a career man, and Vince McMahon knows that. Vince McMahon can understand exactly what I'm capable of in the ring, as everyone saw last week. Oh, shit. And not only did Vince McMahon find that out last week, John Cena and Jeff Hardy found that last week. Knowing that I tapped out, the main champion, the WWE champion of Monday Night Raw to the figure four and picked up the win. You know damn well that I deserve a WWE championship shot now, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So I am sick and tired of hearing the crap the comparisons, you know, the last couple weeks, I am done hearing it. Vince McMahon, get your ass out here. I want a shot at the WWE Championship, and I am not leaving this ring until I get what I want. Wow. Come on. Uh-oh. Well, here comes the man himself. Mr. McMahon making his way down to the wings to get face to face with the man that beat him a couple weeks ago. Mr. McMahon does not look very happy here. I'm going to go ahead and see what he's got to say here. Damn it, Jack. I was doing a universe move. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to take that long. Fuck. I texted you like an well, I got on like an hour and a half ago. But it's fine. <laughs> I I gotta do a Vince McMahon voice. I gotta give you credit, Ric Flair. You tapped out the WWE champion, John Cena last week. And you have been saying and you've been you've been trying to get up my ass about being uh, to getting a chance at the WWE Championship. Well, I gotta say, Vince McMahon. Woo! You damn right, I want a shot. I've been trying to do it. Yes, Sin Cara beat me a few weeks ago, but that is the past, and this is the future. Mr. McMahon, I am sick of being put down by you. 
It is time that the 16-time World Time Tim Champion becomes a 17-time World Champion. Oh, you want to be a World Champion? No, I want to see a 60-some-year-old man be the World Champion. John Cena is the man. He is the future of the WWE. You are done. But I'm willing to give you a chance. Okay, well Vince, what kind of chance do you have in mind? I'll tell you what, next week, here's what we'll have. Main event next week, I'll put you and three other people into an elimination fatal four-way match. And the winner of that match will face off against John Cena on the Monday Night Raw after Extreme Rules. What? What? Are you crazy? Are you medically inclined? I'm sure you are. But what about Extreme Rules? Yeah, Dolph Ziggler has a shot. He lost the Crown Jewel. He lost to John Cena in seven minutes. What makes him have a chance at the title again at Extreme Rules and not me? You want to know, Ric Flair? Do you know who I am? I'm the man that makes this shit. This, that's why people say this is such good shit. Because this is all it's gonna be. Dolph Ziggler is better than you, Rick. And you know it. Fine. Then Vince, how about you, how about you give me a warm-up match? A warm-up match? How about next week? The episode before Extreme Rules. Let me have Dolph Ziggler and prove the world once again why I deserve to be in the WWE Championship match against John Cena and Extreme Rules. Woo! And what else? You know what, Vince? How about, how about this? I've heard that your son Shane is going to be here tonight and he's going to be taking on the former Intercontinental Champion, Rey Mysterio. So how about Shane O'Mac versus Rey Mysterio right now? Well, Vince doesn't seem very happy about that. And I'm getting word that that actually that's not even the next match. I think Ric Flair's been taking a little too much of the bubbly with Chris Jericho. Because the next match... Oh, come on, game. Let me just get this raw episode out of the way and we'll do it. Oh my god, I'm dumb as fuck. Well, that will be later on tonight. We will see Rey Mysterio and Shane McMahon, but first, we're going to be seeing one half of the newly crowned WWE Tag Team Champions, Kurt Hawkins, taking on the one half of the former champions, Epico Cologne. Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder were able to win the World Tag Team Championships from the Colognes at Crown Jewel. Somehow, some way, I don't even know how, but Zack Ryder with one Rough Rider was able to put away uh, Epico Cologne. There we go. We're going to see what happens here in one on one competition. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Kurt Hawkins. Ready to make everyone face the facts. And prove why him and Zack Ryder are the number one superstars in this company today. Which is crazy because we've actually seen Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder lose 
a lot before their tag match, and all of a sudden, they beat the Colognes out of nowhere at Crown Jewel. But tonight, Kurt Hawkins, the man that didn't pick up the pin, though, to win the titles, it was Zack Ryder. But Kurt Hawkins tonight will be taking on Epico Cologne. We'll see if he's able to do what he needs to do. And as we hear Drago singing along, because his favorite tag team is the Colognes. One half of the former tag team champions, Epico Cologne. I know it's crazy, the fact that I'm using Spotify for the very first time for theme songs and finding out that Ric Flair's theme song is not in Spotify. Which is bullshit. Ric Flair Drip is in the game, is in Spotify, but not Ric Flair theme song. I even looked up the actual name and I just got a bunch of German shit. I was like, what the? F but Epico Cologne. Well, no, I listened. It was like, they were all different names because it it's called Early Sprock by Jim Johnston, but it's not on Spotify. But I was like, what the fuck? But anyways, here, as we watch this incredible matchup, oh, look at this, both men getting right into each other's face. Look at this, Epico Cologne. Oh, come on. Oh, and Kurt Hawkins. Epico Cologne was trying to shake hands, and then he, and then he decided to trick Kurt Hawkins. Hawkins didn't like that. Hawkins slapped Epico in the, fla in the face, and Epico going right after Kurt. Both men trying to out, trying to outsmart each other. Obviously, they've been not the best of best of uh, friends, I could say. Of course, they've been at each other's throats over the last couple weeks, even though I'm starting this universe mode and streaming it like three or four weeks after I actually started it, but we don't care about that. Kurt Hawkins now picking Epico on his feet into the corner. No, missing that, missing the splash. Epico now, oh wow, Epico with a nice drop kick right to the sternum of Kurt Hawkins. Able to hook the arm there, by big snap suplex, thinking he's Steve Harvey. But Kurt Hawkins out of nowhere. Big clothesline. I don't think he got all of it, but he got enough of it. And now Kurt Hawkins looking to show him how the snappy snappy works with a snap suplex of his own. Hawkins picking Epico on his feet. Nice counter there by Epico Cologne. Epico Cologne, nice forearm. And we've been told next week we could be seeing a new tag team formed. And that, that new tag team possibly could be facing off against Jericho next week. You don't want to miss it. But as we now see Kurt Hawkins choking away at Epico Cologne. Epico Cologne back on his feet though. Cologne now throwing Kurt Hawkins off the ropes. Big back elbow. Picking him on his feet. Oh, right hand up on the shoulders. Kurt Hawkins on the shoulders. Not good for Hawkins. Dropped off the top rope. Epico Cologne going after the left leg and the left arm of Kurt Hawkins. Looking for the lateral press cover here. Go for the cover. And, oh, Kurt kicked out a one. And now Hawkins rolling out of the ring. But look at Epico. Wow. Jumping over the top rope, what agility. But, oh, he gets sent face first into the apron. Kurt Hawkins missing the drop kick, kick from Epico. Oh, Epico sweeps the legs. Thank God this is not my all fucked up Epico Cologne move set, or else he'd be doing some really crazy shit. Like booty pop and moon salts. Uh, anyways, Epico back into the ring. Wait. Okay. Now we go. On. Oh, not the right arm now. Stomp on the right arm again. Cover and again. Hawkins kicks out at one. 
Epico trying to pick Kurt Hawkins on his feet though, but oh, Hawkins taking out the arm. Take it down, Epico Cologne picking Epico on his feet. Kurt Hawkins looking for something here, looking to pick him up, and oh my god! Dropping Epico throat first off the ropes. That was a nasty landing. Epico Cologne might have almost got beheaded there. Kurt Hawkins with an elbow drop from the top rope. And now Hawkins looking to pick up a big singles victory here. Kick to the midsection. Face the facts for Epico Cologne. Sends him face first into the cover. Hooks the leg. Kurt Hawkins picks up a win victory over Epico Cologne here tonight. What a win here for Kurt Hawkins. Picking up his first singles victory in this universe mode. Proving why they won the, the World Tag Team Championships from the Colognes. How long will they be able to hold those titles though? And now I forgot to play his theme, but I don't give a shit. Never heard that theme. Apparently that was their theme back in the day. Like in 2007, when they made, they were the Edgeheads. Oh boy. Well, here we are. Next match here tonight. From Monday Night Raw, we've seen these two go at it over the last two weeks. And actually, AI just keep booking these two three weeks in a row. But tonight, we're going to be seeing, once again, Randy Orton going one-on-one -on -one with Goldust. Apparently, well, actually, I don't know. It. Okay, so I guess while I'm playing this theme, if I'll uh, explain... God, this is the full version. The fuck you, I'm not playing that. But anyways, Randy Orton making his way to the ring. But Orton obviously... Who's picked up the win over Goldust the first time they met. And then last week, Goldust hit three final cuts and was able to beat Randy Orton last week. This week is the tiebreaker between Orton and Goldust. Goldust has been... Goldust obviously trying. I mean, Goldust, hey, Goldust is a legend in the world of wrestling. The Golden Vipers. Maybe they might. Maybe they they are the new team next week. Randy Orton and Goldust. Oh, we see Goldust making his way down to the ring, bringing back his old school theme. Goldust, obviously, happy that he beat Randy Orton. The man is a former Intercontinental Champion in the WWE way back in the day. He's done quite a bit. Lots of entertaining stuff from him. But now he's going back to his old ways. The director himself. Well, that's looking right at Randy Orton. Who is more crazier? 
have to wait and see. But here we go. Orton and Goldust one on one with the great one. There's the bell and here we go. Goldust and Orton. And Orton immediately picking Goldust off his feet. Immediately into a fallaway slam tossing Goldust into the ropes. Randy Orton, look at the crowd. The crowd chanting for Goldust here. Crowd trying to get Goldust on his feet. Goldust throwing Orton into the corner, capitalizing with a big flatliner. Oh, but Orton, though, kick to the face there to Goldust. Oh, vicious clothesline from Randy Orton. Randy Orton now dragging Goldust away from the ropes. Oh, nice arm breaker. Kick to the back from Orton. Orton trying to pick, pick him up in a sitting position. Goldust, oh, big body shot to the gut. And oh, come on. Goldust rolling to the ring. Goldust trying to get himself fired up here. Here comes Orton. Ah! Orton out of nowhere trying to fight back. But Goldust bringing out his inner martial arts with big kicks and a bulldog on the floor. I don't even, I remember the last time I saw Goldust do leg kicks, but... Oh, come on. Randy Orton and Goldust fighting here at ringside. Randy Orton's got Goldust. No, not on the floor. Looking to pick him up here. Big vertical suplex right on the floor here at ringside. Count of six from the referee. Goldust sent hard into the ring post. The metal ring post. That is not the shitty ass fucking plastic ring post. That is the metal ring posts eight. out of eight nine. count of nine gold that's throwing orton back into the ring and oh at a count of nine both men able to make it back into the ring at in time but gold dust with the offense advantage here against randy orton looking to pick orton on his feet gold dust looking for another flatliner look at that what a counter from orton Orton with a beautiful counter on Goldust, and he just slams him back of the head into the mat. That vicious attack from Orton now into an elbow drop. Orton picking him on his feet, throwing Goldust in the corner. Oh, went into a clothesline. Maybe he was going for that Shattered Dreams kick to the dick. But no, off the cover here, and a kick out at one from Goldust. But again, as I've said before, this is the PG era of wrestling. This is not the new people you see nowadays. This is old school. Look at Orton. Oh, that draping DDT to Goldust. All the people from the past. Oh! Goldust with a kick to the head. Goldust with a running neck breaker. And now slowing the match down with the most legendary maneuver in all of wrestling. The neck crank. Orton Mo back body drop to Goldust. Slamming the arms, stomping away, doing whatever he can to keep Goldust grounded. Pick up the win to make it two for Randy Orton and one for Goldust. Uh oh. And that might be happening right now. Randy Orton going into the zone. Auto zone. RKO. No. Counter from Goldust. Goldust able to counter. Orton unloading though. Snappy snap suplex into the float over. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. Kick out at one from Goldust. Orton no. Olympic slam. Shades of Kurt Angle. And now looking to rip the paint right off his face. Maybe taking Max Caster's, or whatever his fucking name is, advice and painting his whole face because he's so ugly was not a smart idea. Uh-oh. Wrapping the legs, elbows to the top of the face, top of the head, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wait, Goldust! Goldust! Wait a minute! Here it comes! Final cut! Final cut! Goldust with a cover! Gold dust, gold dust, no, no. Randy Orton kicking out of the final cut. Gold dust almost won the tiebreaker between Randy Orton and Gold dust. 
beating Randy Orton not once but twice. Randy Orton did not like that at all. And now Randy Orton for the second time in the match. Looking to drop him right on his noggin with a dripping DDT. The impact. Center of the ring, nowhere near the ropes, into the cover, shoulders down. Randy, no! What? Goldust kicks out at two and three quarters. A close call for Goldust. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, Orton. No, don't do it. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Punt kick. Punt kick. He just kicked the head off of Goldust. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Randy Orton has beat Goldust. Randy Orton has beaten Goldust, kicking him right in the side of the skull. One of the most dangerous maneuvers in all of pro wrestling. Randy Orton is now two and one for Goldust. What does this mean for the future of the Viper here on Monday Night Raw? The signature pose from Randy Orton. Goldust rolling out of the ring. Randy Orton continuing his reign of dominance. Could we see Orton and Cena sometime in the future? These are some dream matches you'd never thought you'd see. But ladies and gentlemen, we are not done. We still have a couple more matches left for you tonight. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this in this mode. No, I just did that. The universe is fun, but not fun at the same time. Especially if I have to do every match. But it's whatever. I'm trying to do every match now so I could give people an opportunity to understand what's going on here. I'll do normal. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The next matchup Rey Mysterio going one on one with Shane McMahon. We've seen Mysterio. He, uh, the, the history of Rey Mysterio so far in this universe mode, he, uh, who did he beat? I don't remember. Shit. Well, Rey Mysterio beat somebody. I remember. Oh, The Miz. Rey Mysterio beat The Miz in the very first episode of Raw in this universe mode. And then he uh, went on to face off in a triple threat between Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. To figure out the number one contender for Matt Hardy's Intercontinental title, Rey Mysterio was able to win that triple threat. And then Rey Mysterio fought Matt Hardy for that Intercontinental title at Crown Jewel, in which Rey Mysterio, with three frog splashes for Eddie Guerrero, was able to beat Matt Hardy and win the Intercontinental title. But then on the very next night on Raw, the rematch between Mysterio and Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy quickly took back the Intercontinental title from Mysterio. But tonight, we'll see Mysterio taking on Shane McMahon. This could be Mysterio's chance to continue to fight for that Intercontinental title. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Rey Mysterio. Well, as we see Rey Mysterio make his way to the ring, meeting Shane McMahon for the first time ever. We saw Shane McMahon was put into this match earlier tonight. Of course, Shane McMahon not been seen in a match in this universe mode yet. He hasn't been seen in a match in a while. Uh-oh. Here comes the money, Drago. Here comes Shane O'Mac. Well, 
Well, Shado Mac and Cheese making his way to the ring here to go one on one with with Rey Mysterio. Shane O'Mac, obviously, not really much of an in-ring competitor, but as of late, we have rumors that Shane McMahon has actually been wanting to win matches and earn a shot at the WWE Championship sometime in the future. But if he were to do that, he'd have to go through Rey Mysterio. Look at Mysterio immediately. Oh, my God. Immediately taking out Shane McMahon with a spinning heel kick. Shane McMahon did not take the bump correctly. And now we're in a call and a tie up Mysterio from behind. Mysterio, nice takedown to Shane McMahon. I don't know how, but he did. Shane O'Mac trying to go after the left arm of the former Intercontinental Champion, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio not wearing his signature 2006 Rumble gear as he had the last couple weeks. He's wearing his default gear tonight. And again, Mysterio taking down Shane. Every time Rey Mysterio comes from behind, he always finds a way to take down Shane. And now he's just fucking him in the ass. Or doing the whatever that maneuver is to help choking people. And you're just like, oh, wait, Shane saying, Ray, chill. Ah! Eric and Rana. Ooh, the, what? It's certain. Oh, C E R T A I N. Oh, a big suplex from Shane. Look at this, dropping him back of the head into the mat. Could Shane rip his raised mask off like Jericho did back in 2009? I wish that was a mechanic. Hashtag 2K22. There we go, here's the cover. Kick out at one for Ray Ray. Ray now taking down Shane. Want to go after the head. Oh, Shane elbow right to the face there. Look at Shane over the top. Look at this. Float over DDT. Down goes Ray Ray Mysterie. Elbow to the knee from Ray. Ray now throwing Shane into the corner. Follows up with a big, big form to the face in the corner. Mysterio with a spinning soul kick. Shane on the ropes. Big kicks to the leg. Drops him. And now Ray Ray might be looking to dial it up here. Here we go. Ah! 619 from Ray Mysterio. Top rope for Ray. Flying through the skies. The frog splash hooks the leg. And Ray Mysterio with a dominant victory over Shane McMahon here tonight. But Rey Mysterio, signa uh, obviously enjoying his victory here. Oh, wait a minute. He's calling for a mic, though. Rey Mysterio calling for a mic, though, after he just beat Shane McMahon here tonight. And a dominant victory. What? Oh, well now Ray Mysterio making his way to the ring again. All right, here we go. Now he has a mic. There we go. Now he has a mic. I've been fighting for all of you since day one. But now I've got to make a chance. Now I've got to fight for me. Because if I don't, stuff like last week will continue to affect me. I won the Intercontinental Championship from Matt Hardy at Crown Jewel. But last week, Matt Hardy had his rematch clause the very next night and I just one mistake was able to cost me that title. One day, I had that championship. And I gotta know, that cannot happen again. And I want Matt Hardy to understand that, that I am not finished with him or the Intercontinental Championship. 
Though I tell you, I've had a wonderful day. I've done some stuff for myself. I just destroyed Shane O'Mac. So I want to see you face to face. Matt Hardy, get your ass out here so we can talk about this face to face. Well, Rey Mysterio apparently turning heel, saying that he's fighting for himself. Oh shit, I don't have a. Oh shit, I don't have Matt Hardy's theme song. Ah! I don't have Matt Hardy's theme song. I gotta add this to the playlist. Uh oh. Well, here comes the psychotic Matt Hardy, the woken, broken, and shuriken Matt Hardy. Even though that's not a word, but it is a word in my book. Uh oh. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. Oh no, is Matt Hardy going to do some weird shit? Uh oh. Is Matt Hardy going to be like trying to like. Okay, no, thank God. Yes, Rey Mysterio. I'm sure you've had a lot to say, but there's something I want to say myself. You see, the broken universe has blessed me with the power of, re of regaining my intercontinental championship. And there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll say what, you ain't as much of a coward as you look. But no, I don't mean any disrespect. I'm just happy to have you here face to face. But even if that face is a nasty, crooked son of a bitch, I'm still going to look you in the face. Wow, Rey Mysterio talking some facts here. Yes, do yourself a favor and stop the smack. Because you know if you were to step in the ring with me one more time, I would beat you again, and again, and again, yes. No matter what the cost. Well, Matardi, you want to keep sounding like you're jerking off and having orgasms, but guess what? I'm going to say this much and this much only. You might have beat me last week, but I destroyed you at Crown Jewel to take that title. And it's going to happen again because I challenge you at Extreme Rules. Ah, that's enough. I've twisted to you enough. Now you're boring me, pal. You know why you're out here. You want this match? How about this? You and me. In one of the most classic matches I ever created. The greatest creation. N-A-T-L-C. Yes. Oh, well, let's listen to this crowd. Matt, this crowd wants it. Rey Mysterio, Matt Hardy for the Intercontinental Championship. TLC match at Extreme Rules. You know exactly I accept. Yes. Well, how about we go the distance? We'll have some classic crap in that match. But guess what, Ray? Next week, we're going to see if you still have what it takes. Next week, one-on-one, -on -one, you will face off against Broken Nero, Jeff Hardy. All right, next week I'll face Jeff, and if I win, then you and I will fight at Extreme Rules for the Intercontinental Championship. And good luck, Matt, because you're gonna need it. Wow. Well, these two went at it. Oh. 
I said broken neuron. I said the wrong thing. Oh well. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight's main event. We saw this match at Crown Jewel in which John Cena and Dolph Ziggler fought. Dolph Ziggler beat John Cena the week before Crown Jewel off a low blow. And then uh, at Crown Jewel, John Cena pretty much destroyed Dolph Ziggler in about six minutes to defend his championship. And then last week, John Cena teamed up with Jeff Hardy to face off against Ric Flair and Ziggler. Even though Ric Flair tapped out Cena at the end of that main event match, Ziggler said that he wants another opportunity for the WWE Championship. So tonight, these two will go one-on-one -on -one once again. Ziggler, Cena. Yeah, I remember that. God damn it. And there he is. Everyone said Dolph Ziggler brings back the blonde dew and the classic Ziggler for this classic PG Universe mode. He's here. He's back to stealing the show. Here comes Dolph Ziggler. do that, that's not possible. Maybe if it was 20, I could, you know, have him have short hair, but... Oh shit, the one theme song I forgot to add. Shit. Hold on, I, I screwed up. The man himself, the WWE Champion, John Cena. Well, John Cena, even though he's doing that never give up gimmick, even though he just gave up last week to the figure four leg lock by Ric Flair, Hashtag breaking the fourth wall, fuck 2K universe mode. But John Cena still holding that WWE Championship tonight. He will face Dolphin Ziggler and put that title on the line. The classic WWE Championship belt. Go. Matchup on the way. Dolph Ziggler, Cena. Collar and double tie up Ziggler from behind. Wow! Ziggler taking down Cena. What? Ziggler taking down the WWE Champion. John Cena didn't like that. Throw into the Michinoku driver. John Cena did not like that at all. John Cena trying to continue with the dominance reign. Ziggler, though. Wait a minute. Ziggler out of nowhere with a back super. Oh, come on, Ziggler. With a classic tip up. Ah! 
John Cena taking down Ziggler. Oh, John Cena. Yeah, he beat like The Rock and like a bunch of other people. Oh, man. John Cena with a big knee. Oh, it's Cena, though. Cena. Oh! I don't know what you're talking about. Edge and Hopkins is the number one tag team in his universe mode right now. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, I'm your Cruiserweight champion. I don't know what you're talking I'm the Cruiserweight champion. I'm a former NXT tag team champion. Oh, look at this Ziggler, though. Big drop kick to John Cena. Both of these men trying to go back and forth. Main event of, of Raw. Oh, John Cena going for the kick there. Big heel kick from Ziggler. Braun Strowman hasn't done anything in your universe mode. Golf oh, Ziggler, though. Golf oh, Ziggler with big right hands to the back of John Cena. I don't know. Add, like, fucking Johnny Gargano or something. Oh, look at this. Ziggler now. Big suplex to Cena. Look at that. Oh. Raking the, raking the ears. Dolph Ziggler currently with the offense advantage over John Cena. These two are the for top two superstars on the power rankings for Raw. This could be a classic matchup for the ages. John Cena set out powerbomb, but Ziggler got the ropes. John Cena trying to, oh, look at this. More strength of power from John Cena. Just going to toss Ziggler. Picking him up with the gut wrench. Oh, suplexing him right back down. Ziggler throw back on his feet. Oh, drop kick to the back of John Cena. There's another one. Ziggler wrenching on the head of the WWE Champion. And up, oh, and again, adding more pressure. Cena on his feet though. Cena though out of nowhere. Front face lock. Got him trying to lock in a guillotine, maybe. Oh, but Ziggler out of nowhere again, catching him with the back suplex into the kip up. Ziggler not taking the WWE Champion seriously here. Ziggler with a big. Oh my god! Ziggler just picking Cena up and dropping him down like he's a toddler. And there's a famouser from Ziggler. Ziggler with a famouser. Ziggler sending John Cena over the top rope. Oh, wait a minute. Cena in a bad position here in a precarious situation. There's the neck breaker, the draping neck breaker. Oh, wait a minute. Dolph Ziggler signaling it up here. Dolph Ziggler looking for it here. There it's zigzag. Zigzag to the WWE Champion. Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's going to get revenge. No, John Cena kicks out at two and a half. John Cena staying alive in this match. Dolph Ziggler trying might does not want to get too not want to get too anxious here. He wants to keep his uh, his anger in check, his emotions in check here. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, look at this. Off the leg, off the leg wrench. Two count. Oh, take out. What an ending that would be if Dolph Ziggler won off a single leg wrench. Oh, Cena though with a nice takedown. Everyone leaving my stream because they don't care about Cena and Ziggler. <laughs> anyway. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh-oh, Cena. Hoping to hop it up here. Five new play shoe flay. Mm. Uh-oh, wait, 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 John Cena. Cena's waiting for it. Here we go. Going for the AA, but no, Ziggler. Ziggler, Scorpion, death drop. Ziggler out of nowhere. Taking down the WWE Champion. And oh, wait, John Cena with the right hand. Ziggler trying to fight back, but John Cena going for the chops. Unloading on Dolph Ziggler. Throws him off the ropes. And oh, oh come on. Oh, come on. 
Dolph Zag. Oh, what is this? Ziggler saying he doesn't want anything to do with Cena. But here comes Cena. The crowd going wild. Oh, wait a minute. Ziggler with a right hand. Knocking down the WWE champion, John Cena. I got my own bars. Wow. Look at Ziggler again with that elbow drop. Ziggler number one on the power rankings. Oh, wait a minute. Ziggler number one on the power rankings. Cena number two. Ziggler could do this right here, right now. Dolph Ziggler going for the fat. Oh, no. Cena with elbows. Cena not letting him hit it. Cena from behind with the... Oh, man. Half, half Nelson neckbreaker. I don't know. What the hell? Dolph Ziggler trying to use the ropes to get back on his feet. John Cena. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't want to be in this position. John Cena again firing up here against Dolphin Ziggler. Ah! Takes him down. And we know what's next. If he's Maniac. There we go. He's better than Maniac. Here we go. Going for the five. Knuckle shuffle, baby. Oh, oh. Bow. Got him. I think he busted him open. He busted him open. Ziggler busted open. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. John Cena picks up a win. John Cena off the five knuckle shuffle. I think maybe he had some, some brass knuckles because he busted Dolph Ziggler open off that five knuckle shuffle. I wonder if John Cena played a little bit dirty to win that match over Ziggler. Ziggler cannot be too happy after that loss. But Dolph Ziggler busted open. Referee trying to check on Ziggler. John Cena knows exactly what he's done. I forgot to play the music, but that's okay. But John Cena picking up a win here. The WWE Champion is victorious. Thank you for tuning in. I got the other stuff to do. Unless Drago's doing his universe mode, then I'm going to continue. Drago, what are you doing? I'll be smart, All right. No, I have no clue. I'll text him right now. Oh yeah, you missed Randy Orton versus Goldust. What? God damn it. Wait, what did he do? Why is he on Messenger right now? Wait, what? Alright, smacky downs. I'll keep that. I'm gonna change that. Obviously, change that. Obviously, change that. Okay. This is this is the PG era universe mode. Hold on. This is a PG era. So this is like 2008 to like 2013, kind of like era. So like that's all that's here. Alright. He's not even on there. So let's do a match. Let's do he's on raw. Um Hey, I just added him just in case. Alright, let's do um You didn't see that. I'm trying to think of something here. Oh, that's not the hard one. I could do that. I haven't used Seamus. Oh, 
Why is that still on there? I gotta change that. Christian. I gotta change that. So Christian and Carlito had like a 40 minute match where Carlito kicked out like five kill switches. I lost track. We won't talk about that match. Uh, what else? Beth Phoenix, Beth Phoenix, yeah, Beth Phoenix. Is, and this is when like this is not like brand specific females, so females are on both brands. You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'll do this. So I know. This will do. This is some. This some history. This is some history right here. Oh, what the fuck? That's crazy. There we go. I'll explain. The women have a lot of history. Um, this is supposed to be the main event. So let's change this. I don't even know. Isn't it? Well, maybe not because I can, if I change it, it won't work. There we go. That works. So last week, King Booker issued a challenge. He say, go fuck yourself and then block him. No, if that's on Xbox, don't say, because then you'll get you'll get communication ban. Don't do that. Why would you do that? he do? Uh-huh. What? Did he text Vince on Twitter or something? Like, what? Wow. Oh. 
Okay, stop bickering. Stop. Alright. Ding 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 ding. Alright, ding 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 ding. I'm down with this. I'm down with this show. Oh, Drago's back. Drago, are you done now? Or are you done? So we're both gonna be commentating. Cause I was gonna do Reach and then you you didn't say anything. Cause I you said you wanted to play Reach. I thought that's why you texted me earlier. Okay, that's fine. Jonathan Hopkins is gonna have Piper Black. Right, let me stop. All right, here we go. That's just on. Momentum normal. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No. What, are you gonna tell them to watch my stream? I mean, that's just extra views. That's just fun. Trying to make sure I got this right. Okay, there we go. God damn it. Okay. I've already said as Edge to Cam uh, to ask Piper Black who the real radar superstar is. I'm just joking. Um, yo, whatever Edge or Jonathan Hopkins turn on each other, I'm going to cry my ass off. That's going to be a sad day in history. Blazing said later. He'll be on later. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan going right after John Morrison. John Morrison was already out of the ring. We're starting the show hot between one half of men on a mission. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Daniel Bryan, taking on John Morrison. And last week, I was going to say some history between these two. We did have a triple threat tag match at Crown Jewel. For the tag team titles elimination, it was R Truth and Kofi versus Miz and Morrison versus Daniel Bryan and Cesaro. And it was the final, the final bit of that match was Miz being two on one by the tag team champions, Daniel Bryan and Cesaro. And then that is how Bryan and Cesaro won the titles. Oh, big takedown by Morrison. Last week, Morrison and Miz tried to take out Bryan and Cesaro, and they did a pretty good job until Daniel Bryan locked in the yes lock for a second time to tap the Miz out. And now that Miz tapped out, John Morrison did not like that at all. And tonight he's looking to get some revenge against Daniel Bryan. Look at this. Oh, form to the face. John Morrison with Daniel Bryan on the mat. Was stomping away on the left arm of Daniel Bryan. One half of men on a mission. One of the greatest, uh, highest rising tag teams on SmackDown today. We even saw them beat the Brothers of Destruction to earn a shot at the tag titles. Daniel Bryan pinned Kane. Actually, they destroyed Kane. <laughs> oh, look at this. Airplane spin from Daniel Bryan. Oh, big takedown. Oh, come on. Daniel Bryan now taking the left arm. He's got the arm of John Morrison in a bad position. Oh, stomp to the arm. 
Daniel Bryan just slow, methodical strikes to John Morrison, making sure he has full impact. Wait, 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 wait. Cattle mutilation. Cattle mutilation's locked in. Referee right there. Cattle mutilation locked in. John Morrison trying to fight out of it. John Morrison trying to stay with an elbow to the face. Daniel Bryan started this in the, the hot, the hotness between these two as he attacked John Morrison before the bell even rang. John Morrison, Pele kicked to Bryan. Bryan pushing him off here. Bryan, oh, big shot to the left arm of John Morrison and a kick to the side of the head right on the button. And Bryan with an elbow to the leg now looking for the cover. John Morrison won't be able to hit that Starship paint if he doesn't have a leg to rely on. Daniel Bryan again going after that arm. He goes for that, that signature counter mutilation. Could be very effective if he can continue this arm work on John Morrison. Look at this. Oh. Dropping the arm down. John Morrison turned over. We've seen this before. This is how he beat Kane a number of weeks ago. Daniel Bryan looking to fly. The flying goat. Ah, there it is. The headbutt from the top. Into the cover. Shoulders down. John Morrison able to stay alive at two. John Morrison kicking out of the flying goat. But uh-oh. Daniel Bryan. He tapped out the miss last week to this. Trying to lock in the yes lock on Morrison. Morrison could be in trouble here. If he could just reach his arm to the bottom rope. But look at this. Morrison quickly. I don't think Bryan got it locked in all the way. John Morrison quickly fought out of it. Daniel Bryan quickly trying to fight out of whatever that was. Daniel Bryan from behind. German suplex. Suplex city bitch for John Morrison. Daniel Bryan going for the cover off the German suplex. We're going to pick up the win for, for tonight's first match and a kick out again from Morrison. And once again, Daniel going after the arm. Keeping it down. Every time he goes for a big move, and he kicks out, he always goes right back after that arm. The break his damn arm, man. Uh-oh. Morrison on his feet. Morrison out of nowhere. Wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, man. What a face buster. John Morrison. Whoa, what a backflip. End of the cover. And a kill. Oh, wow. Kick out of one from Brian. John Morrison. John Morrison thinking he's James Walker. Uh-oh, look at this big takedown for Morrison. We saw this in the tag match last week. John Morrison trying to feel it here. Six him up and takes him down. John Morrison taking him down. John Morrison, look at this. Oh, what a leg drop. But Brian sweeps the legs though. Brian sweeping the legs for the second time. Looking to hit the flying goat on John Morrison and win this singles match. Here we go. Oh no. John Morrison, nick of time, able to roll out of the way. Morrison's ready. We've seen this. The swagger net breaker. He got him. He's beaten a number of superstars. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. No. What? Daniel Bryan kicks out. Daniel Bryan kicks out. John Morrison going to the top rope. The high risk district for John Morrison. You gotta be kidding me! Floating bro! Corkscrew sent on on Daniel Bryan. The lateral press. Shoulders down. John Morrison does it! John Morrison beats one half of the tag team champions. What a win for Morrison. John Morrison off that corkscrew sent on. Able to pin one half of men on a mission. The first loss for Daniel Bryan here. John Morrison able to get some revenge after Miz's tap out last week. Obviously Cesaro is not going to be happy seeing this. What a win here for John Morrison. As we go ahead and move on to the next match. John Morrison is the heel. Daniel is the face. Yep. Come on, open your eyes and see. I 
Oh shit, I don't even have. Stop! They're not even points. What the fuck? When has Beth Phoenix ever done that shit? Well, I know Paige has, but not Beth. What the fuck? I gotta get Nick. Dude, where is Nikki Bella's team? I tried. There it is. Jesus. There we go. I'm trying to add this to my playlist so I don't have to look for it again. I don't know, it's that injury she had a couple years ago. I thought she said she was done, but now she's just a backstage person. Nah, I thought she was actually done. She's just gone. Oh, yeah. was she? I don't know. Do, 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 do. But, anyways, I was like, have this. I did, I liked it. That was fucking fun. That was fucking... That was crazy. I was like, holy shit! Like, like well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on to the next match here tonight. Beth Phoenix, the women's champion, making her way to the ring. She retained her title at Crown Jewel in a triple threat steel cage match against Paige and Nikki Bella. After both Paige and Nikki Bella picked up singles victories against her. But now tonight, she's going to be teaming up with Paige, who, who is actually challenging Beth for the women's championship at Extreme Rules. And they will be taking on... The Bella Twins. Obviously, I don't even know if Paige is actually excited with teaming with the women's champion. I don't know what we're going to witness here in this matchup, but we will wait and see. As Paige makes her way down to the ring. Well, fired up as usual. She picked up a big victory last uh, on Raw against Brie Bella after Nikki Bella continuously screwing Paige. But obviously Paige will get revenge against both Bellas, technically both Brie and Nikki. And they are teaming with the women's champion. This could be something else. Hashtag Tomcat booking is amazing. <laughs> and here comes Bray Bella. I didn't make him a tag team. I didn't care. See, it wasn't in the game. Uh, Original. Or uh, either it was and I deleted it. Brie Bella, obviously going to want some revenge against Luce and a page. She almost had her beat a couple times. She even survived a rampage and a couple page turners. But it was in the final of that match where she last sadly lost. Tonight she has revenge to team with her own sister. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. And here comes Drago Tyler. Imagine Drago Tyler doing that. All right, let me stop. 
Drago Tyler is shaking his ass. Let me stop. All right, Nikki Bella, anyways, making her way down. Drago Taylor again. She changed Jessica to Taylor again. But Nikki Bella throwing her hat to the crowd. She's always fearless until she hurts her, until she breaks her neck. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, here we go. Beth Phoenix and Brie Bella starting off. This is the first time these two ever met in the ring. Here we go. Matchup underway. Beth Phoenix going after the... Oh, oh wow. Taking control. Oh, my God. Picking her up like she's nothing. Oh, and she just swaps her down. Disrespect. The women's champion just... Oh, tossing Brie around like a rag doll. Come on. And now Beth sending Brie flying over the top rope to the floor below. Both women now on the outside. The match just started and all chaos already ensuing in this tag team matchup. But Beth now with Brie Bula. Uh oh, wait, wait, what the fuck is she doing? Why is she sending her into the corner? You know when you guys go in the corner, you don't get in the ring. That Phoenix and Brie Bella, both women going back and forth here. Back into the... Count of five. That Phoenix now taking Brie Bella. That match just started. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'll go back. Both women back into the ring here. I'm not fucking doing that. The fuck that. That's not what I booked. That Phoenix elbows to the stomach of Brie Bella, and oh, what a what a move there. Double axe handle to Brie Bella. That Phoenix now looking to throw her into the corner, maybe looking for the tag. Uh oh, Brie said hell to the na na na. Brie setting the women's champion into her own corner. And there's the tag to Nikki Bella. Both women back and forth. Look at this. Oh, Nikki with a boot to the face. And now Nikki and Beth once again going at it. Wanting revenge from Luke from taking the pin in that steel cage match at Crown Jewel. Nikki Bella with a huge chop. And now Nikki slowing the match down. Going after the left arm. Targeting that left arm. Beth Phoenix won't be able to use that arm effectively for the glam slam. Nice elbow there. Nikki Bella picking up the women's champion on her feet. Throwing her into the corner again. Oh, went for knees. The knees hitting that top turnbuckle. That could have been a... That was nasty for Nikki Bella as we hear the heavy machinery make their way to the... Let me stop. Nikki Bella with elbows to the midsection. Oh my god, what a boot! What? What a boot from Nikki Bella. Taking Beth in and out and upside down. Big monkey flip to the women's champion. Nikki Bella picking Beth on her feet. Sends her face first across the knee. Beth Phoenix, oh, into a corner now. Nikki Bella looking for some Nikki faction, stratisfaction. Uh oh. Look at that. People looking right up the crack. Oh, uh, knee to the face. Nikki Bella. Uh oh. Nikki Bella might be calling for it here. Nikki Bella could be calling for it. Looking for the rack attack. TKO. By who? Cam? Cover. Oh no. Well, now Nikki Bella doing push-ups. Now about Phoenix. Oh, has her in a dragon sleeper. Hold on, let me see. I'm like, I gotta check something. Oh, look at this. Knees from Nikki Bella. Beth Phoenix. 
Oh! I will swing it over. Fucking that left arm. That Phoenix. Pick on her feet. Oh, Nikki Bella sweeped in the legs. Nikki has Beth now in the corner. That's able to counter. Beth Phoenix with a hard Irish whip back into their her own corner. It's a corner. There's the, there it is. There's the tag to Paige. The cl most classic move in all of entertainment. The drop toe hold elbow drop from Paige and Beth Phoenix. And now Paige targeting the arm of Nikki. This is Paige's opportunity. This is what she's wanted. She wanted to get revenge over Nikki. What's up, Drago? Ah! No, what? No, we'll kid. No, we'll kid. Please. I don't know. He said just let me know when Blazing gets on. Oh, Paige. I'm doing my. I'm doing this. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, Paige Turner. Paige Turner to Nikki Bella. This could be all she wrote. Cover. Hooks the leg. Nikki kicks out of two. Uh oh. But that may be that may be long short lived. Paige looking for the rampage on Nikki Bella. There it is. The rampage connects, dragging her away from the ropes. Brie Bella needs to make a save. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. Brie Bella to no. Brie Bella broke it up, but nothing happened. But it didn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. That's all I was playing on. Paige now locking in this single leg uh, STF or whatever the hell you want to call it. Paige now has Nikki locked in the guillotine. Let's her go. Oh, kick to the midsection there. Oh, headbutt from Paige. Paige now lifting Nikki Bella up on her feet. Uh oh, Nikki Bella able to counter. Paige in the corner. Paige now thrown back into Bree's corner. Maybe looking for the tag. Beth Phoenix distracting the referee. Oh, come on. Nikki Bella with a backbreaker. Beth Phoenix distracting the referee, so the referee couldn't see the tag. But now there's the tag to Brie Bella. Brie trying to come from behind. Paige with hard elbows to the face. Paige looking to capitalize. Wait a minute, look at this. Paige looking for the roll-up. Paige rolling up Brie into the cover. No, kick out of one end. It got it just before the two count. Russian leg sweep from Paige. Paige continuing. There's the tag to Beth Phoenix. Big elbow. That's now continuing to go after the left arm of Brie Bella. This has been some questioning flow in this match. Oh, wait a minute. Wheelbarrow position. Oh, there's the sit out glam slam. And now look at this. Oh my God, she's got Brie Bella all tied up. Brie Bella's all tied up here. Beth Phoenix could tap out Brie Bella right here, right now. And there it is. There it is. Brie Bella taps. Beth Phoenix has tapped out Brie Bella. And again, Beth Phoenix laughing at Brie and Nikki Bella as Beth Phoenix and Paige pick up the win here tonight. What a win for Paige and the women's champion Nikki Bella at Extreme Rules. We will see Paige face off against Beth Phoenix one on one with the WWE Women's Championship on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss it. Well, then you're a whore. <laughs> All right. Up next, a, a, uh, internet created matchup we had a poll on the wwe.com website saying what matches were to be created who could be chosen to be in a match 
pick your chooser. And this was what was created. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be having Christian going one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior, Seamus. I gotta, um... Since Christian is a face, I'm going to use the Story of the Year version. And if I turn him heel, I'll use the water Waterproof Blonde version. Also, I might download a short-haired Seamus. I hate this Seamus. Fear the Celtic warrior. Here comes. Well, Seamus making his way down to the ring, like I said, a pole created matchup. Seamus going one on one with Christian. Christian was able to defeat Carlito last week, and it took him five kill switches to put away Carlito last week. Tonight, he's looking to take on a former WWE champion, the Celtic Warrior, Seamus, in Seamus' first one on one match here in SmackDown. Well, Seamus ready. There he is. Captain Charisma is here. Christian possibly on the road to, to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Currently being held by the animal Batista. And as we know at Extreme Rules, Batista will be facing off against the number one contender, the rated R superstar Edge. And obviously we also know, imagine if Edge takes the world title away from Batista, we could see Edge versus Christian for the world heavyweight championship in the future. Well, as Christian makes his way down to the ring, Christian looking to create a legacy once more here on SmackDown. But the question is, what exactly will that legacy become for Captain Charisma? Could he win the U.S. Championship? Currently being held by the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. Christian pointing to the crowd. He knows exactly what they want to see. All right, here we go. Referee calls for the bell. Match is underway. Sheamus and Christian back and forth to start, the ship, to start this matchup. Look at Christian into a sit-out gore buster for the very first move of the match. Unbelievable. What an incredible thing that is. Christian now looking to throw Sheamus off the ropes. Going for a duck under. Oh, went for an uppercut. Sheamus though able to push him off using his power. 
his 270 some pound body that's why he's the Celtic warrior look at this oh no sends Christian's knee into the mat Sheamus now going after the left arm Sheamus with Christian on a knee Sheamus dragging Christian uh oh hello wait a minute Christian not gonna let that happen Christian with elbows to the midsection fighting out of the hold of Sheamus off the ropes there it is the uh, uppercut that swinging uppercut from Christian but Sheamus with an uppercut of his own oh, are you doing 205 live right now are you doing 205 live right now uh oh Christian Christian send him over the knee Sheamus looking to go for the cover. Quick cover. Kick out at one from Christian. Obviously, Sheamus is going to be one to return back into the world heavyweight title picture. We'll have to see if that's possible or not. Oh, Sheamus hard in the corner clothesline by Christian. Christian stomping away. Sheamus pushes him off. And oh, what a shoulder tackle. A powerful shoulder tackle from Sheamus. And said, trying to send Christian to another dimension with these heavy handed strikes. Backdrop suplex. Oh! Oh, Christian. Oh, kick to the back of the knee. Sheamus went for an uppercut. Counter by Christian. Christian, look at this. Picking up Sheamus. Look at the power of Christian. Christian with a power slam into the corner. Oh my god. Did you see that power from Christian? What unbelievable strength going to the top rope. We saw this against Carlito. Oh, no. He went for the signature frog splash. But Sheamus was able to counter Christian, though, quickly into a neckbreaker. Christian trying to keep himself alive in this one-on-one -on -one match against Sheamus. And now here's the lateral press. Shoulders. No, wow. A very quick kick out. Sheamus immediately. Oh, Christian thinks he's Bailey. Actually, I don't even know if that's a Bailey taunt. It's a Christian taunt, but I don't even know. Christian dragging Bailey. I mean, Seamus. Taking out the leg. You can see Bailey in the crowd here tonight. Watching this PG era as a kid. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've heard a DDT. Inverted DDT, the execution, also called the Christocution. Christian top rope, no, misses for a second time. He missed the frog splash for a second time. There it is, bro kick, right to the jaw. Good night, Christian, shoulders down. No, Christian stays alive. What? Christian able to kick out of the bro kick. Sheamus cannot believe that Christian was able to kick out and now he's going to rip his head right off his neck. Look at the crank. Sheamus is pissed. Sheamus is livid that Christian was able to kick out of the bro kick. He wants to put Christian out of commission and Sheamus saying that he has titties this big. Going for the lateral press and a kick out of one from Christian. Sheamus saying those titties are big double D's. Oh, wait a minute, Christian though. Fighting back. Christian, oh no, she kicked from Sheamus. Sheamus has him on the shoulders. Sheamus looking for something, no Christian able to counter. Oh, there it is, the inverted DDT. A signature maneuver of Christian. Christian on the funnest beat. Oh, he just slapped him in the face. On the shoulders again into the flapjack. Christian now throwing Sheamus into the corner. Oh, nice drop kick in the corner by Christian. Christian could be feeling himself here, folks. There's the power bomb. The alley-oop bomb by Christian. Oh, wait a minute. Christian looking for it. Looking to lock in. Looking to engage. The kill switch. No, Sheamus counters. And if I hear Bad Bunny's shitty ass theme song one more time, that's a from Christian. 
Oh, that's not Bad Bunny. What the fuck? Why did I think that was Bad Bunny? Anyways, uh oh, here comes Christian. Oh. First try. Firing on all cylinders. Tilt wall backbreaker. Oh, Christian, Christian! There's the signature inverted DDT! Taking Seamus down. Christian is pissed. Well, Christian locking in this arm. Going after the arm. Oh, wait a minute. He used this move to take out Carlito. Looking for the corner spear. There's a spear. Christian with a spear. Christian with a spear. Here's the cover. Hooks the far leg of Sheamus. Christian picks up a win. Christian defeating Sheamus one-on-one -on -one here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. A big victory for Christian. He beats Carlito. Then he beats the former champion in Sheamus. Christian is on a momentum train here on SmackDown. What is the future of Christian here on SmackDown? Christian looking absolutely great here, beating two men two weeks in a row. What can we see him here? Christian continuing his reign as Captain Charisma. All right, but here we go now, ladies and gentlemen. The match that was that was said to be a brawl last week. We saw King Booker come out, talk some trash about how Benjamin got lucky at Crown Jewel. King Booker and Shelton Benjamin tore the house down at Crown Jewel. They wanted, King Booker wanted that championship so badly, but sadly, Shelton was the last man standing in that matchup. Tonight, we may not even see anyone standing. A no-holds-barred match for the United States Championship. This is King Booker's second chance, a second opportunity to win the U.S. Championship from the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. And prove why he calls himself the King of SmackDown. But ladies and gentlemen, I have I will be planning in two months time, the King of the Ring will return to WWE. Both Raw and SmackDown will have their matchups. The following contest but again, two months down the line, But here we go, United States Championship matchup. King Booker and Shelton Benjamin, just like we saw at Crown Jewel. But tonight, it's gonna be on SmackDown. Here comes King Booker. Oh shit, I forgot his theme. Motherfucker. I didn't even think about it. Shit. I put in King Booker and I get nothing. What? Wait, is this it? Where's Booker T?
That sounds like shit. Sorry about that, guys. King Booker making his way down to the ring. He calls himself the King of Smackdown for a reason. And tonight he wants to prove it. He said at Crown Jewel, he had a chance. He was so close to doing it, but he just wasn't able to. But tonight is another shot and another opportunity for King Booker to win back the United States Championship from Shelton Benjamin. But we'll wait and see what happens as King Booker steps between those ropes. The King of SmackDown is here. Oh, hello, Show Off. King Booker. I'm doing my universe mode show off and Drago is watching his and you can just hear it through his mic. Ah, shit. Yeah, you can. Well, here comes the gold standard. The man that beat Booker T, King Booker at Crown Jewel. 
tonight walking into this no holds barred match that King Booker asked for. King Booker said he wants it. He wants it under his own rules, the King's rules, and that being no holds barred. Shelton Benjamin would have to follow those rules in this match, this U.S. Championship match. Let's see if he's able to do that, or if they'll put on another. As the Crown Jewel match wasn't that bad. Just... Tonight, another shot and opportunity for King Booker. King Booker. Introducing the champion. Oh, look at that. From Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 240. No, Blazing has not told me. He is the United States champion, Shelton <laughs> Benjamin. Blazing said later. He said, he literally just texted me. I said, when, yo, when are you getting on? He said later. And later was about an hour ago. So. I'm guessing he's at work or something. I don't know. But Benjamin giving the, his title belt to the referee. The whitest guy in the ring right now. No offense. <laughs> King Booker and Shelton Benjamin one on one for that title right there. Here we go, match up underway, here we go. Title on the line, no holds barred, anything goes. Look at this, Booker T immediately float over, snap, suplex, catching Benjamin, cover, kick out at one. Booker T went for a kick. Benjamin with a jumping clothesline. Taking down the challenger. Hashtag shitty wrestling flow from 2K. As he now works on the arm, and there's a monkey flip from Benjamin. Oh, now wrenching on the hair. Oh, he's got the hair. He's wrenching on the hair of King Booker. Booker trying to get him off. Some disrespect from the champion. Oh, vicious knee from Booker. Booker stomped to the back, stomped to the leg. Oh, wait. oh, look at this. Oh, there it is. The knee to the bow. Come on. King Booker just holding that knee on the back of the head of the champion. Benjamin didn't like that at all. Look at this. German suplex to Booker T. And now there it is. The classic neck crank working on the head of Booker. Obviously, no holds barred, which means anything goes. You can grab whatever you want. You can grab... Fucking giant sized dildos, whatever you want from under the ring. You can even grab the guys that are under the ring and use them as, with, as your advantage. Oh, Booker. And King Booker now getting picked on his feet. Look at this dog. Butterfly suplex. Follows up that with a stomp right to the face. We're gonna break a man's nose. He's been doing this. He's been working on this ground game. There's a leg drop to the arm. Shelton again. Once again, there's the monkey flip. The King Buka. King Buka. Again, Benjamin slowing the match down. Continuing the ground game. Oh, look at this right hand for Benjamin. Oh, Booker T trying to fight back, though. No. Okay, look at him go. Look at the champion go. Throwing Booker off the ropes. And, oh, come on. Wait a minute. We just saw this on Raw between Cena. We saw the same thing on Raw. King Booker saying he's out of here. But wait a minute. Here comes the champion. Shelton. Oh, no. Right hand from King Booker. A cheap shot from the challenger knocking down the champion. But Benjamin, look at this. Oh, vicious shoulder tackle. Booker lands hard on the concrete floor. You know what? I want to see a weapon. I made that. I don't want to play my story. Oh, 
Booker falls hard. And, oh, kick out of two. Wait, what's this? Benjamin grabbing the steps now. He's got the steps in hand. Oh, come on. Taking, con taking control of that no holds barred. Booker trying to take him out with a chair. Oh! Chair across the face of Shelton Benjamin. Booker now throwing Benjamin in the corner. Went for a clothesline counter. Shelton with a painter! Painter out of nowhere! Cover! Shelton retains. What a fucking shit match. This is why I hate this universe mode, but I guess this gives Shelton an opportunity to fight someone that actually has a fighting chance. Maybe I can actually download a uh, fucking what's his face. James Ellsworth. Well, that wasn't the main event at least. So. Just a five minute no holds barred match. Those are my favorites. Not even a weapon used. King Booker just gets fucking jobbed. But ladies and gentlemen, the main event tonight, a specialized tag team matchup. Last week, Batista and Edge was said to be a title match at Extreme Rules. And Batista said Edge is not in his league he said he would find someone in the same league. And then out came the one-man band, Heath Slater. Look, when Heath Slater was looking to pick up a win against Edge, Batista obviously having the mind games, of course, but it was Edge. Heath Slater almost had the win thanks to Batista, but Edge was able to stay alive until Batista finally got ejected and Edge was able to pick up the win over Heath Slater. But tonight, tag team matchup, Batista and Heath Slater looking to take on Edge and a secret tag team partner of his choosing. Now I got to get their theme songs on the Spotify playlist. Did you know that Booker T's theme song is not on Spotify? That's crazy. Well, actually, I found Ric Flair's. It's just a, it was named something completely, something I didn't even fucking know. Do I want the old Heath Slater? Oh, yeah, old Heath Slater theme song. Hell yeah. Yeah, the one that he used in, like, 2012. Eh. I don't know how to explain it. You'll hear it. Oh shit, this is the whole theme, fuck. This is gonna be weird as shit now. Where is it? There it is. Alright, here we go. It sucks that my booking's actually kind of interesting, but the matches are fucking shit. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. the full version because that's what Spotify fucking gives you stupid Spotify I, I had I had to change I had to fucking when I played Randy's Bird of My Light it literally played like the whole two minute intro I was like uh, I'm not doing this fuck that the animal making his way down to the ring 
He beat Alberto Del Rio on SmackDown a few weeks ago and then defeated Del Rio in a last man standing match at Crown Jewel. In one hell of a match, Alberto Del Rio brought the fight to Batista, multiple kicks to the head, even put him through the announce table, but it was still not enough to keep the animal down. Until Batista finally hit him with a two, it took him three Batista bombs to keep Del Rio down, and we haven't even seen Del Rio since. But Batista holding the World Heavyweight title up high. The main champion on the SmackDown brand here in Tag Team Main Event Action. Obviously the animal being that cocky son of a gun that he is. Of course, being the PG era universe mode. All four of these men have been in the PG era in this match. It's actually entertaining. That's why I wanted to stream it. Because you don't see, like, Finn. You know. True. Jump. Stop, stop. Don't talk about that. Well, he's Slater making his way down to the ring. Actually, I don't even remember this song, to be quite frank. That's why I picked it. Well, he's Slater coming in. Just shut the fuck up. Smite this, my universe mode. He's Slater. He says he's always got kids, but he's teaming up with Batista here tonight in tonight's main event. But well, you're obviously knowing exactly who he's going to be facing. Yes. I wait, is it? It lives, it breathes. Yeah, it's a that's cover. There he is. Actually, I couldn't even find his theme. I, I I have to like I had to search deep. It's like what the? Anyway, it's the rated R superstar making his way, wearing attires I made like three years ago. Well, Edge obviously wearing NXT gear I made like two and a half years ago. Making his way down to the ring. Who is his partner going to be? Who is the secret partner going to be in this main event match? Wait a minute. Oh, this is the shit version. Fuck this. I'm done using Spotify. I'm done using Spotify, dude. Boy, there he is. He's here. I'm not using YouTube because I keep getting fucking ads. I was using Spotify because I don't get ads on Spotify. Okay. Drew McIntyre making his way down to the ring. The Scottish Warrior. Well, of course, teaming up with Edge here. Batista obviously not looking too pleased. Oh yeah. But Drew McIntyre. Oh look at Heath Slater. Heath Slater does not seem too pleased. He's seeing his old buddy Drew McIntyre. I 
right, here we go. Starting off with a match we're gonna see at Extreme Rules. The Rated R Superstar and the Animal starting off this tag match. And here we go, Edge going right after it. Batista with a right hand. Both men starting off back and forth here. Whoa, Edge going for the, what the fuck? Oh, look at this. Oh, Edge taking out Batista. Yeah, this is an old attire I made. This was an old attire. What the fuck? Oh, Edge was going for the five knuckle shuffle. Batista with a kick to the head. Oh, Edge with a big boot. This is an old ass move set. Oh my god. This was my this must have been my ultimate X move set. Oh, Edge and obviously Edge taking down Batista. Oh shit. Oh wait a minute. Oh man. Big shot to the gut from Edge. Well, this is not the normal. Oh, look at Edge off the ropes here, brother. There's the leg drop. Edge with the leg drop on Batista. Now going for a second five-knuckle shuffle. Oh, but again, Batista catches him again. I mean, I got to change that. Fuck. I didn't even know I had that. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Batista now. Uh-oh, look at this. Batista tagging in Slater. Slater gets some revenge. Here comes the one-man band, baby. <laughs> Back body drop. Slater, uh-oh, uh-oh. Edge tags in McIntyre. Slater saying, wait, Drew, we can talk about this. Oh, elbow from Heath. Clothesline from Heath. Heath going for the cover. You gotta be kidding me. Kick out by one by Drew. Drew McIntyre immediately taken down by Slater. Slater caught Drew off guard. And now Slater with the offense, but Drew quickly shuts that down, taking Slater down. Both Drew and Heath Slater going back and forth here. Drew McIntyre with a form in the corner. Oh my God, yeah, this is gonna be, oh my God, this is gonna be the default Drew as well, because this is, it's all the default move sets. Oh, look at this, Heath Slater locking in that single like Boston Crab on Drew McIntyre. Oh no, push them off though. Oh, Heath catching the kick. Oh, the dragon screw takedown. Slater taking down Drew McIntyre. Going now, working on the right arm. Oh, driving it into the mat. Kick to the ass. And Slater so far with the offense advantage over Drew McIntyre. This is certainly rare. He's Slater turning him on his stomach. And again, Slater going after the arm. Continuous, oh, continuously driving that arm into the mat. And he's Slater shaking his ass for some reason, saying he's going to put him to sleep, thinking he's CM Punk. Oh, look at this now. Oh, the leg DDT. And again, after the arm. The right arm, again, driven into the mat. He Slater continuously working on the limbs of McIntyre, the leg and the arm of McIntyre. Taking McIntyre up on his feet. Drew McIntyre thrown into the corner. He Slater looking to tag out the world heavyweight champion. Here comes the animal. First time ever on SmackDown, McIntyre and Batista back body drop again from the both the men. McIntyre trying to get on his feet, but Batista takes him right back down with a close line. Crowd chanting for Batista. Uh-oh, Batista hooking the arm. Maybe looking for something here. Going for the jack hammer on Drew McIntyre. Shades of Goldberg, cover, and Edge with a save. Edge able to save this match. He Slater telling Edge to back off. And Batista on the apron. Uh-oh. Batista top rope. Batista on the top rope with an elbow drop to the back of Drew McIntyre. What a move. And there's a spot buster from Batista. And now he has the blazing, the incredible psychological uh, uh, bra uh, smartness of blazing. Going for the ankle lock after the spine buster. Really launching it in there. Oh no, Batista. Batista with a kick to the head. That's what this universe mode is going to be all about, the shout outs. Batista landing hard into that step. And now we're here at ringside. 
Oh, Batista sent into that announce table. McIntyre has him on the shoulders. Uh-oh. Oh, Batista, though. Oh, Batista right in front of Edge. Execution right in front of Edge. Batista got out of the way and hit McIntyre with an execution. And Edge is pissed. And he drops McIntyre face first off the brink steps. The World Heavyweight Champion taking shots at his challenger at Extreme Rules. Main event match here tonight. Batista throwing Drew McIntyre back into the ring. McIntyre again trying to crawl himself to Edge. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Batista. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Batista bomb. No. McIntyre countered. McIntyre takes him down with the most legendary move. The walls of Jericho. No. The double leg busting crab. But Batista got the bottom rope. Glasgow's kiss. And now walking in a Dragon Sleeper, taking him down. Now walking in the Dragon Sleeper on Batista. Batista now, knees to the face. McIntyre, oh my God, overhead, belly to belly to the animal. Drew McIntyre has Batista's number here. Double axe handle right to the back of the head, keeping the World Heavyweight Champion grounded for as long as he can to get some offense back in this match. And oh, but look at Edge. Edge is saying, tag me. Edge is pleading, here we go. Edge is back in the match. Edge telling Batista to bring it, bitch. Edge now stomping away on Batista. Taking Batista up on his feet, vicious form from Edge. Edge now looking to pick him up for a, oh, drops him on his head with a, good lord. Using gravity against him with the Brain Buster. Tags into Heath Slater and Heath Slater taking down Edge. Heath Slater trying to fire back on all cylinders, but Edge slowing that down. Edge now, execution of Slater. Batista on the outside. Edge with a cover on Slater. Shoulders down, Heath Slater kicks out at two. Heath Slater somehow kicking out. Oh, spare, spare. Edge with a spear, hooks the leg, shoulders down, and Slayer kicks out! What? Slayer kicks out of the spear! You gotta be kidding me! I can't believe it! How the hell did he Slater kick out of the spear? Look at this! Bulldog from Slater! And now off the Bulldog, Slater covering and Edge kicks out at one. Slater getting a little bit frustrated against Edge here. And oh, oh, Edge with a form. He's wanted some revenge against Edge. He's Slater thrown in the corner. Oh, spear in the corner from Edge. And now Edge stomping away on the midsection as he's draped in the bottom part of the corner. Oh, wait a minute. Picking him up here. Look at this. Oh, Glam Slam. Shout out to his wife and the women's champion. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Go for the execution. He's Slater looking for his own execution. Oh, maybe not. Oh, snap suplex. Well, tell you what. He's Slater continuing to try to continue this offense. Thought he was going for that own execution. He had Edge with an execution on the floor last week. Oh. But technically, that's is actually his finisher. Oh, Slayer now wrenching on the, oh, the bad neck. Wrenching the head back, the knee across the back, but no, Edge quickly gets out of it. Edge able to quickly get out of it. Edge throws him back. Oh, Drew with a shot to the back. And Edge said, what the fuck? I'm trying to tag you in. Hey, Slater in the corner. There's the tag to Drew. Drew now middle rope. Going for that classic double axel to the arm. Oh, wait, he Slater's the busted open. Wait a minute, future shock DDT. Future Shock DDT, cover on McIntyre, and he does him. Cover on Slater, fuck. McIntyre and Edge pick up a win. Well, Drew McIntyre immediately after getting tagged in hits a Future Shock DDT on Heath Slater. And that's a big victory for Edge and Drew McIntyre. Batista looking at Heath Slater, just shaking his head. He Slater obviously not very pleased with this loss. And Batista just as well. Thank you for tuning in.
Do not forget to tune in to week two. We have lots of action next week.